Josh and Caleb. the channel we are doing another collection within my collection and no it's not the Power Rangers <laughs> although this was 90s well yeah most of the series is in the 90s the movie was 89 which I'm obsessed with stuff from 89 apparently <laughs> I was born in 88, so year after 89, a bunch of cool stuff came out, including our subject matter for today, Encyclopedia Brown, which uh, ran for eight episodes. The first one's a movie. They count it as just a extended episode. Uh, I'll put some pictures here to help show uh, all of them were released to VHS, except one, the Cold Pepper episode, episode six. Uh, that one was not released to VHS for whatever reason. The rest of them were. Uh, sh should have a complete series, a uh, DVD or Blu-ray release. That would be great. But it was a book series. So it started out as a book series. I don't know how many books there were. I'm assuming quite a bit. Uh, and for whatever reason, they just quit producing the show. Uh, I don't know, ratings or whatever. But they did eventually release all but one to VHS and as a kid I would go to the library because most of you guys probably didn't grow up in this era but back in the well I've had viewers tell me that they have still to this day their library rents DVDs and Blu-rays and stuff so but back in my day you would go to the library you could check out books, which we did, because we, I read as a kid a bunch. You would get that little badge from Pizza Hut, and you would get a free personal pen. <laughs> That's not the only reason I read. I enjoyed reading. Nowadays, not so much, but anyway, you would go check out a book, and they had VHS you could check out and keep until you returned it obviously there was a limit i believe i think five total or or maybe there was a limit i don't remember because i know we would get some from blockbuster and check out some from the library so <laughs> the weekend was pretty <laughs> pretty epic back in the day but uh Encyclopedia Brown was one of the things we checked out from the library, which a bunch of my favorite stuff somehow was stuff I rented from the library. So, fun little fact. <laughs> but, uh, anyway, the series ran from 89 to 1991. I don't know the exact year. Then in 2013, I got excited because Warner Brothers bought the rights to the book series and they were going to do a movie with the original creator of the show as a producer. So I was pretty excited. Obviously, we're here in 2022, so that never happened, you know, nine years ago. I heard the original kids were going to come back, have like a cameo, but 
Sadly, that never happened. Maybe someday Shout Factory or Echo Bridge or Mill Creek, one of those would get the options and release it to DVD. That would be epic. <laughs> but right now, all we have is the VHS. So we're going to dive into that. First one being, uh, well, we'll say, well, it was the first. Uh, my favorite, the movie, love the movie, uh, The Case of the Missing Time Capsule, which they call Volume 1. Uh, these were released by two different, uh, this one, High Tops Video, for Volumes 1 and 2, then the rest were released by Golden Books Video. This random thing, but, uh, yeah. Love this movie as a kid. Uh, I believe this was the first thing we saw from E.B. Brown. Uh, and of course you got E.B. and uh, Sam. I believe that's her name. Sally. I don't know why I was thinking Sam. But E.B. and Sally. What guy did not have a crush on her <laughs> as a kid? Uh, she was great. But, uh, yeah. All about this time capsule, which is supposes a mystery. Yeah, great movie. Uh, Video Treasures. Released, well, this is 1990. I think they, yeah, 1990. So, yeah, a little before my time. I was two. <laughs> I ran it when I was like six or seven, so five years after the fact, but great movie. If you have not seen this movie, which is the kickoff to the series, definitely go check that out. All right. Yeah. Or rent from your lo local library. <laughs> uh, I don't know how the rest of these are in order, so I'm just going to... Uh, sadly, I got this one from eBay, and it was all, all ripped up, and I tried to save it by putting it on a, you know, one of those blank tape covers, but, you know, if I could find it again, I will, hopefully I can, but for right now, <laughs> this is a One Minute Mysteries, I believe this was the final episode. It says volume 2, but I think this was the last episode. I could be wrong, but this is 89, so, you know, uh, written by DJ McHale, I believe he did Are You Afraid of the Dark? Yeah, so looked it up, DJ McHale, uh, was a writer. He wrote Are You Afraid of the Dark? Like I was saying. And he wrote encyc most of the Encyclopedia Brown uh, videos. He also wrote the Tower of Terror movie. But yeah, DJ McHale. That's cool. Uh, good writer, in my opinion. <laughs> Kids, uh, TV series, so yeah, One Minute Mysteries, then probably my least favorite, uh, Case of the Missing UFO, not, not one of the better episodes, uh, his dad, who is a sheriff, gets lost in, in the woods or something, and they think it's aliens, anyway, I won't, I won't spend too much time on it, not my favorite, certainly, but at least it was released, and this was a library rental at one point, so could have been from my childhood, <laughs> don't think it was, but uh, still neat, uh, then we get into my favorites, uh, starting with the case of the Flaming Beauty Queen, this one is great. 
Uh, there's these fires going on in the library and other places and the stolen money. Uh, yeah, don't want to give too much away, but case of the Flaming Beauty Queen, I like how Golden Books did like it's a book cover. That is great. Love that artwork. Then the case of the Amazing Race Car. This one's great. Uh, there's cheating, there's racing, <laughs> all, all kinds of stuff that you should know as a kid. <laughs> How to do the right thing, etc. So yeah, Case of the Amazing Race Car. Again, great artwork. Then you have the Case of the Burgled Baseball Cards, all about stolen baseball cards uh, again great artwork this the bottom was a little messed up but might have to replace that at some point in the one map mysteries but these were from my childhood so I kept it again Denver Public Library if you guys did not believe me about the library So that's two that are library rentals. And this one as well. See the number there? Uh, be kind, rewind. <laughs> then my favorite episode besides the movie, Case of the Ghostly Rider, uh, Talk of a Buried Treasure, and this Ghost Rider is protecting the land and E.P. E.B. not E.P. E.B. and Sally have to figure out what's going on because everybody else thinks that's actually a ghost. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this great series. Love E.B. so much. Cyclopedia Brown, the boy detective. I didn't read any of the books, I just grew up on the TV show, so that was cool. Did not know DJ McHale wrote these episodes, or most of them anyway. So that could explain why I really love it, because I love Are You Afraid of the Dark? Great show. So that is going to do it. That is that's my Encyclopedia Brown collection thought it would be a cool little video because i'm sure a bunch of you have no idea what encyclopedia brown is unless you read the books probably have no idea what the tv series was so wanted to do this video thought it would be a cool idea all right there's gonna do it i'm josh new videos coming as always until then, if I don't see you out thrifting, or at Walt Disney World, I will see you at the movies. Bye. Seriously, we, we need these on DVD. Just do a complete series. Alright, bye.